Hello. <laughs> this is the new family edition. This I present Juni. Um, better named Juniper Robin because it's just adorable. And it is, oh, she is, she's my little bingo. I've had my little bingo for a month and it's been a roller coaster. I am gonna insert pictures and videos I've taken over the last month over top of everything and just in between. Don't mind the noise, uh, she's playing on the ground, but um, do I need to put it away? Okay, thank you. About a year or a year and a half ago when I was originally getting Margo, which is my Sphinx cat. I've got a link up here or here, where whatever corner it's supposed to be in. Me and my boyfriend, we were talking about maybe getting a Bengal as another cat that would be just like one of our dream cats. So the conversation had already been there. We just started looking for cats that are Bengal breeders and everything of that sort that comes with trying to get a cat. One of the requirements that I wanted if I was to get a Bengal cat is I wanted a Tico registered cat, uh, Bengal cat. It means that my Bengal is wild, kind of. Um, if you do a lot of research, you would find that for, uh, for you to have a domestic Bengal cat, it needs to be at least in the generation tree, the fourth. The Tico registration just means that she's purebred and bangles the way it works is half wild Asian cat and a domestic cat bred together. That's the first link and then you just go down generations. That's all it is. But I wanted the Tico registration. I wanted a purebred bangle cat. That's what it is. She's watching my, my hand go like this. <laughs> So, little Juniper Robin here uh, is born February 21st and bangles usually you're not supposed to get them until 14 weeks. Usual kittens is 12 weeks but bangles needs to need to be more with their mom for two more weeks so the best time to get them is at 14 weeks. In my case I got her a little before 10 weeks which is stupidly early but two days into searching for Bengal cats, I come across this picture and I fall in love. The cat is so adorable, so, so, so cute. I end up talking to the breeder, everything works out. They're like, hey, you can come pick them up by the end of April, beginning of May. And I confirmed it. So I got the little baby. And it has been, like I say, a roller coaster. <laughs> if you think that domestic cats talk a lot, Bengals talk even more than normal domestic cats in average. And I've never heard a Bengal talk that much. My little, my little Junie here apparently talks a lot, which I don't mind. It's just when my alarm goes if goes off in the morning, the first thing you hear about after the alarm is her meowing. Because she is currently 12, 13 weeks, something like that. I we still feel like she's too young to just be roaming around freely in the house while we sleep. So in the night she just stays in here, which is the bathroom. If you didn't know, I'm gonna give you a little tour, but in the morning, she's just excited to go play with Margot and to see us, so she just meows. Let me just give you a quick little tour of how things are placed. So this is the entryway. The way this bathroom is set up is narrow and long, so there's not a thousand places we can put the litter box. And I didn't want to put it next to the shower because we take showers there. 
don't want it to stink so much. So that's why the litter box is right there with the thing to remove the poopers. Bengals can be walked like dogs <laughs> and she's gonna be walked like a little dog later. So I'm getting her used to being in a carrier and when I go get Derek from work, I usually bring her in the carrier and she just sleeps the whole way. So that would explain why this is always there because if I put it if I put it in the wardrobe, I'd be opening and closing the storage wardrobe every day almost. So that's why it's there and then I uh, basically her toys are always there. I removed the yellow one because it makes a lot of noise to film. And we have her little play, not play, she sleeps most nights here or she sleeps there between the toilet and the vanity. But yeah, and then this is usually not there. That's Margot's nook. Yeah, and then the, here's a shower. Here, this is the only other place I would, I was putting the litter box, but it's like next to the shower and it's in the way most of the times. So that's why it's not there anymore. And then she knows how to climb up here, up here, up here, and get on the counter by herself. So I have her water here. I need to fill up her bowl. And this one we use sometimes for just water so it's not like trickling like this. And this is the other place where she sleeps. One other thing about Bengal cats, they absolutely love water. So we're getting her used to come in the shower with us. And... How do I know they love water? Well, it's written everywhere on the internet and my neighbor cannot take a shower without her cats in the bathroom just literally taking a shower with her, so. This little miss is very interested by water but she gets scared of the noise the shower makes. So yeah, I'll uh, put in all the cute pictures and videos I have. So.